Kachin. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in this video, I want to break down some of the trades that I did today. Uh, I'm just going to give you guys my reasoning for going um, into the trade and um, how I got out of the trade. So, we actually have three trades here on the board um, NMRD, MITO, and um, LEDS. So that's what we're going to break down today. Before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So let's jump right in here. I actually take a look at uh, the charts here. So uh, NMRD, this is the, the one that we made a little bit of money on. So you can see here, right at the open, so I was tracking this one. Uh, pre-market if you can see here pre-market um squeeze here uh to a high of about 14 14 40 somewhere right there so or I, I thought that was good momentum so i said watching it um as the market opens right at open uh it kind of pulled back a little bit here and i was just watching if you can see look at my stochastic down here it crosses it's showing me there's there'll be an upside look at the blue line that K line right there shows me that's an up an uptrend coming. So what I did is right here, I didn't take I didn't get into the trade. So I got into the trade somewhere around here um, because I I'm looking at my stochastic. Uh, but I was when I got in, I was actually just hoping that it, it goes up because there wasn't that much volume coming through. So I was just fingers crossed again that the volume comes in. So I stayed in the trade here and squeeze up and then to 13 and then pull back. So I'm like, oh man, I'm, I probably missed my exit opportunity. So I held the trade again, um, but my stop loss was in place and it just squeezed up. Um, I got at about 13, around 13.8, uh, somewhere around here, which as you can see, um, if I had waited just a few seconds in the trade, I would have made a ton of money off of that trade. But again, the reverse could have been worse, right? So I could have been greedy here and not take profit at 13.8 and then this thing flushes. So I got out here, it pulled back and now I'm celebrating a little bit and then see what happens. From 13.5, squeeze all the way to 15. And I was okay with it. I mean, like I took the profit here um, I, I mean, it, it's a winning trade, so I can't sit here and be greedy, but I mean, I could have made more. I just, um, it's just how the market works. So that was that one. And then after that, it got to that high of 1554 and that was it. You just look at that pull back and hasn't recovered since then. So it's right sitting now at $9 and 13 cents. So, uh, it might squeeze back again sometime today but you guys know i don't trade below vweb and even look at the volume down here on my chart uh the activity in the stock happened just right at open so the first um hour right at open that's where we had the most activity had the most volume and after that it's just crumble all the way down so that's something that you have to be aware of all right so now let's take a look at mito that's the second one i traded so again this one um right out of the gate who this one had volume coming out of the gate you can see here so right out of the gate it, it pulled back a little bit here and then squeezed up so i cut it right here i think i got in like two dollars and some change right here um wrote it all the way to two uh, about 2.3 um that's where i got out and then um it started just pr pr producing these bar barcodes right here and I mean, I didn't feel like it was a good place. There was another trading here. Cause look at that, those doji, both on the upside and on the downside. So I didn't like that. Um, but yeah, it was, it was sweet. I, it was like very quick in and it's, it got up and I got out. So yeah, I can't complain about this one, but now look at right here. This is, this is where most people would think. Cause if you look at, if somebody was just watching this, uh, you don't have like um, indicators that you can, can guide you into the trade. Look at stochastic right here is crossing. So my D is crossing to the upside, which tells me that this thing is gonna flush. Volume drops. It tells me like it's looking to flush. But see the price packed up to four point um four uh, two point four five, excuse me. And for most people that are just new to the market, if they saw this spike, they probably would have jumped into this trade um before this thing flushes i guess so this, you see this spike you'll be like oh this thing looks like it's gonna start ripping again but if you look at stochastic right here it's telling me that this is not going up it's headed down 
So I'm not going to take this trade. Volume tells me there's not a ton of volume coming in. Even if you got in a trade and you try to get out, you might get stuck in that trade and get flushed with it. So I'm like, nope, I'm not taking the trade right here. So that's that's how you can use um, indicators to kind of guide you through a certain trade. So sometimes, again, I'm just looking at the trades like I see a setup like this. I'll just laugh because this is this is one that would make you cry if you didn't know what you were doing. Because you look at these like, oh, this thing is gapping up again. Because see, it's set a new high. Um, and most people would jump in thinking it's going to keep ripping. The next thing you know, it flushes. Because you're not looking at your indicators down here. Um, you can also add um, another indicator here that might guide you through the process. Let's see if we can add um, RSI. So if you add your RSI indicator, that would also kind of give you a guidance as to um, if this thing is going to flush. But here, I like um, stochastic better because the D and the, and the K line crosses, you can really see that. Or you can do MACD. If we if you want to add MACD, just to give you guys another context, let's take out RSI and just do MACD here so you guys can actually see. So like I, I was said, if you look at um, stochastic and MACD, they're almost um, identical to each other. So if you can see here, look at that cross right there for stochastic and RSI and MACD. Uh, the cross is pretty much the same here. So you have to be very careful uh, when you see setups like this. Again, when the price spikes and volume drops, that is a, a, a clear sign of reversal. So don't even waste a second in that trade. Uh, try to get out as soon as possible. So, and then after that, it's just been um, crossing VWAP, test VWAP, fail, test VWAP, fail. And then look at that final failure. It just went down um and down and never really recovered and again guys i don't trade below vwap just because you don't know where the bottom is at that point so because somebody if you if this thing pulled down below vwap here and you think like oh it looks like this is the bottom then you buy it, it, it starts to move up getting flushes um i don't want that so i like to trade momentum i like to trade it when it's headed up it crosses vwap give me confirmation that's when i'm going to jump in the trade and then um, I tried a little bit on LEDS. That's where I gave a little bit of money back. And this one, um, I it, it was just a little bit of chase uh, because I, I didn't really get in the trade when I was supposed to. So LEDS. And I also got a little bit greedy because I had a little bit of money in the trade and then I didn't take the profit. I should have taken the profit, but now I, I just sat there and watched it disappear. So um, this one gave a little bit of opportunity right at open. Look at that squeeze from 5.2, it squeezed all the way to about 6.5. That would have been a nice trade right there, but I didn't trade that. So I think my trade came in somewhere around, um, let's see, my trade came in somewhere around here. So I got in and it flushes. And, and guys, it, I was in the money about $80. And, um, and I didn't put my stop loss because I went in using my hot keys. And so... By, I was just like trying to set, put my stop loss and take profit because I, I, I was the volume here. I was anticipating that it was going to gap, but look at the mistake I made. Look at right here, and this is a classic case of you not using all the indicators that you have. So I'm like trying to input my uh, take profit slash stop loss. In the process, I didn't look at this uh, my indicator. I didn't look at stochastic, and missing that, it just flushes and kicked me out. Uh, which I was in the money and it flushes and kicked me out and um, end up with the loss of uh, about $45. So those are some of the trades. And then, I mean, I've just been watching this. Um, it hasn't made any um, other move again, but it pulled back here. Again, this is one of the things, if I if I had stayed in the trade, I would have been red and then it squeezed back to a half 13.4 uh, before pulling back. But I mean, I again, I want to make sure that I get out when, I say I'm going to get out. Right, so this is not me just like, hey, I'm going to take a chance. You have a strategy. Follow that strategy. Set your, your stop loss price. Stick with it. I mean, live and die with your own decision as long as you're happy with the decision. I'd rather lose money using my strategy than just kind of make some profit with guessing because you cannot replicate guesswork. But if you have a strategy, you can definitely replicate your strategy. So that's just something that you guys should be aware of. Um, and look at it now. It's starting to squeeze back up, uh, bouncing off of um, uh, VWAP here. Wow, that's a nice squeeze. So you can see that, but I'm not going to take a trade right now. I'm going to wait 
I see because I, I want to see it. If anything, I want it to go test that high of day, which is 13.4. Um, but again, I'm not going to jump in the trade. I already got burned, so I don't want to do it again. Anyways, that is the, the, the trades that I did for the day, guys. Again, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get some free stocks. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.